Bethany Wilson here with Rough Beginnings Rehab Dog Training and Rescue, working with Maddie on prong collar heel. She does learn e-collar heel, which was very necessary for her size and her behavioral issues, but prong collar is a perfect choice for someone looking to save a little bit of money or new to training tools. Come on. This is nuts. Like I can't I actually can't move her. This is unfair for God to make God to make dogs like this. Come on. Come on, crazy puppy. And yes, this is a puppy. This is a 16 month old dog. Let's go, girl. Oh, come on. Ow, that's my foot. Okay. Come on. You know, she really doesn't know any better. It's not her fault. Oh my gosh. The ridiculous thing is I don't even think she's trying. I am. Oh, this is nice. Another dog. Hey, hi, girl. Oh, my goodness. Come on. I feel like her leash is going to break. God. This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, I mean like, I'm not completely sure I've experienced uh, walking a dog quite this bad in quite some time. Whew. All right, girl. Okay, so I just put the prong on her, and um, honestly, it's a little too big, but I really uh, <laughs> can't take the time <laughs> to take a link out. So we're gonna work with what we've got for now, and then I'll size it better inside. Because um, we've got only about 20 more minutes of daylight, and it'll be pitch black out here. So, she hasn't even felt what it feels like yet. She's like, there's like a dog over there and a human over there. She doesn't know where to look, so she hasn't pulled yet. Just got it on her. Let's just start moving. Well, there's a little bit of resistance finally. Shouldn't drag me completely to it. Let's go. So she's definitely not overwhelmed by the sensation, clearly, and I didn't think she would be. But I just want to do some turnarounds, let her feel it. Like, hmm, what is this? Where you at, girl? Oh, she's still not like magically, uh, you know, less strong or anything, but definitely gives me more leverage. Ooh, this is still tough though, right here. There we go. So, right now, all I'm doing is <laughs> using tension. So, I'm trying to guide her. I'm trying not to go straight down her spine, I'm trying to go to the side to just help her understand that when she feels tension around the neck, good, she's to come around and follow it basically. So tension, good. Now, I know she's not paying attention to me, but at least I got a few, few eye contact this time. Good. And I'm not really worried about saying, honestly good or heal or any of that right now she's not listening to me but when she does i'll definitely start to mark stuff so see she's already starting to soften up see that oh spoke too soon so i'm gonna get her to go around good 
See how loose it still is and low on her neck? I'll fix that inside, but for now, this is what I needed to do to <laughs> at least get her moving without dragging me down. Human. She's nervous of people. So it's important, guys. It may not look like much. It may just look like I'm wheeling her around. But it's important to do this tension and to do these turnarounds because the dog needs to understand the pressure. So I don't know if you notice, but every time she pulls ahead and then she makes the decision to come towards me, I loosen the leash, right? So I'm not just correcting her. That'll come in a few minutes. But I'm giving her a chance to understand that when she feels pressure, to give into it. And her reward is a loose leash, okay? So that's how they learn what pressure means. Same with a puppy, and you're working with a harness or a slip leash. You have to teach them to give in to pressure. If you don't, a lot of times, they'll just always pull. Yeah, look at you. Look at you, already better. See how she's already softening up? Ooh, it's still tough for her with the grass, I know. So we're at four minutes and 15 seconds. I think you remember with the pity I've got a leash that says walk a dog on a leash in under five minutes she might take six or seven <laughs> just to be totally honest <laughs> she might take six or seven minutes all right so now we're gonna do some pops get her attention. Now that I know how she reacts to pressure. Whew, she barely is responding to him. Oh, it's because there's a guy. So here's the thing. She's got some behavioral issues with people. So I'm going to go back to just tension. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Man, I'm really checking her too. It may not look like it, but I'm giving her some pretty good checks. That she's blowing me off. Let's go. Good. There's a man and a dog over there. So she's excited about the dog and scared of the man. Lots of emotions. No, no. I'm at 537. <laughs> See if I can do this in a few more minutes. So the reason you don't just put any tool on a dog and start popping or correcting or anything right away, oh, there are some exceptions, don't get me wrong. She, she was trying to eat me, she was trying to bite me. Oh my goodness, girl, come on now. She was trying to switch sides on me. Come on. Um, she's not used to not getting her way. Let's go. That would be different. Then of course I would correct. But if you're just teaching, there's no reason to. You want them to understand to some degree what is going on, right? You want to teach them to turn pressure off. And this is not the end of her learning pressure, just because I'm popping her at this point. This is just to show, my goodness, I'm out of breath. She's a big girl. This is just to show how quickly, with the right tool and with the right guidance, how quickly you can turn a truly unmanageable dog as far as walking goes um, into very manageable more than manageable hopefully in the next minute or two hey not bad Whew, smells are still trumping me you can see the improvement let's go and notice how um i don't care if she's a chihuahua or a bernice mountain dog She's not traumatized at all by having something put on her that she's probably never had before because her drive is trumping it. But when you have a dog that's pulled as long as she has and is 
her temperament that's what happens so if you guys out there you know it's always fun to show the videos of the dogs trying to drag me down the street but if you have a dog that's more nervous all right come on if you have a dog that's more nervous you're just more gentle right you're just much more gentle so whenever i would turn around i would do gentle pressure and i would maybe be like let's go oh good hey she listens to that um she doesn't need gentle pressure she's not a gentle gal <laughs> but um but a lot of dogs will be but you can accomplish the same thing it's just your handling skills so that would be like if i had a nervous dog she's blowing me off so she gets more pressure <laughs> but notice as soon as she makes the decision to turn around i loosen the leash even if i have to tighten it again right away even if she changes her mind because she sees something it's still tension good girl we have people up ahead so let's see if she does that again so it's tension she still oh she was with me that time so hopefully you can rewatch this sometimes i do like two I'm trying to switch sides again sometimes she'll, i'll do two see like right here she makes a decision but she didn't commit you see that she took one step over so I loosen the leash, but she didn't fully commit to the turn, so I do it again. Good. So that kind of gives you an idea. Human, let's go. Good girl. More humans. I'm gonna give a little distance. Oh, nope. She charged out ahead. Getting excited, we're surrounded by people. There we go. So now I'm gonna give her a few more checks, right? A few more, uh, a few more pops. I'm gonna do them more firmly. I'm gonna try to do that holding the phone so you can actually see them. Keep in mind I wouldn't have to do them so firm if my prong collar was one link shorter and higher on her neck. But take what we can get before we run out of light. Come on, girl. Let's go. She sort of paid attention to that. Good. Ooh, look at her walking with me. Good girl. Oh, look at that. Nope. <laughs> as soon as I say that, she... Oh, my goodness. The big old bush up here, she's really going to want to smell. So I'm going to turn her around right in front of it. Let's go. Good. Good decision. So these are pretty firm pops, even though they're only with one hand. I think I'm going to need to two-hand her a couple times. Um, just for strength purposes. She's just so big. But understand, when you have a little dog, I don't have to bend down any, but when you have a little dog, you actually need to bend down a bit, lower your, lower, oh, good girl, yeah, lower your arm to give those pops to make sure, to make sure that it's to the side. You can be up a little like that but never straight up. So sometimes you gotta bend down a bit. There we go, you gotta bend down a bit to say, oh, she's ignoring me, she's so strong, to say, hey, cut it out. Oh, hey, how you doing? So you gotta go to the side a bit, if that makes sense. Man, she's making me seem out of shape. Let's go, girl. Let's go, come on. <laughs> so this is just with the prong collar, people. When she gets her e-collar on, she's gonna be so smooth. It's gonna be beautiful, but um, you don't have to. I mean, the colors I use, I never say, or I mean, I always say don't get, you know, ones from Petco. Let's go, you know, the, the inexpensive ones because they're not made, they're not made fairly, in my opinion. They either underwhelm the dog or overwhelm the dog. You know, the ones that she wears, they retail for 180 to $200. And if you get them through me, if you're a client, so it's a little bit less expensive. But um, that's what's really going to hone her in and really, really help her be in tune with me. But if you guys, oh, <laughs> if you guys can't afford that, that's no problem. Go on Amazon. Do not buy prong collars in stores. Go on Amazon. Let's go. Good girl. Go on Amazon and, and get one of these for $15, $20. She's going to be on the 3.0 Herm Springer. And I'm um, a smaller dog will be on the 2.25. Look at you, girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so 
maybe it's not get a dog walking beautifully in um, five minutes or less uh, maybe if I wasn't holding my phone I could have I could have done the five minutes or less but let's let's be nice and, and give me ten minutes right good girl let's go but this is definitely definitely more manageable than before so my point is is I go into shelters um, probably at least once a month and a dog is being returned for just being overexcited, no manners, can't walk on a leash, is it manageable? And well, I'm here to tell you, 15 minutes or less of some hard grunt work and, uh, and this is definitely manageable for, for most people, I think. You just gotta have, you know, you just gotta put in the work and know what to do with the right tools and that's why I'm making this video. Let's go. So as soon as she gets really out of tune with me and that nose takes over, we do turnarounds. Nope. Oh, she liked that big old bush. We're gonna do that again. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. So we're still gonna work on lots of pressure stuff because I really wanna make sure she understands that really well. But uh, this is a great, a great start. Really great start. Nope, let's go. So see, she gets out ahead, I turn. Let's go. Good. Good job, yeah. Good job, girl. So she gets out too far ahead, we'll do the same thing. Oh, she's doing good. Yeah, good girl. All right, guys, stay tuned for lots more videos from her. All right, so this is literally 15 minutes in. I had to turn my phone off, get my timing a little bit better, do like two, I think I did two or three, better timed, better timed uh, uh, just leash handling, leash pops. And now she's doing beautifully, yeah, on a loose leash. Her nose is still going to take over, but I mean, as soon as, as soon as uh, it's daylight in the morning, just a few reminders and she'll be back to this. Yes, you're a fast learner, girl. See, she started to put her head down and she felt tension and she changed her mind. That's what this is all about, is teaching them that if they feel tension, they should give in rather than push through. That's difficult. It's been very difficult for her. Just ask my chiropractor when I go and see him tomorrow. <laughs> but she's done great, no? Good. So, you know, when she's in this much calmer state of mind, that's when I'll start adding the word heal, start giving her um, good, ver good uh, verbal markers, like yes and good, to let her know that, you know, this is what she should be doing. Oh my god, yes, good girl. But I just wanted to show you a good consistent um, walk with her, with her behaving, because she was still kind of all over the place, literally just in, in the other section of this video. And all it did was it really just took me, you know, putting the phone away and doing a couple of better timed uh, pops when we did turnarounds. And now this is her. This is her. Good job, girl. Yeah, good job, yes. 